I'm not even going to hold y'all that long. Let me say this. It would not surprise me if Joker wins film of the year. I'll go a step further. I was saving the spot for Robert Downey Jr. for what he did in Endgame. It would not surprise me if Joaquin Phoenix win Best Actor as well. But these are comic book movies. Don't expect them to be nominated. I expect them to be snubbed horribly. Now, let's see what should be tackled out here. And like I said, before I even get into that, yes, I'm talking about this movie. Y'all saw the title. Go watch Joker, then come back and watch my video. We're getting in. I'm not going to hold on and wait. I need to get this off my chest while it's still fresh because I saw this movie last night. And I think it's something that I should comment on. Even though this word has not been used in the movie, even though he has a clear signs of it, Joker was had to be diagnosed with schizophrenia. Which is not too surprising because some people say Heath Ledger's Joker was diagnosed with schizophrenia. Maybe so. I could argue that uh, against that a little bit. But this character right here, 100% schizophrenia. Now, as far as a lab go, that's a neurological disorder. We'll get into that later. But one thing about the movie is I'm glad they did not do an action-packed role. Like you would expect from, I don't know, maybe uh, Jared Leto's Joker, which I would expect. This one, dug deep into mental health. And that one, I do appreciate. And schizophrenia was a topic that was talked about before, but it kind of got thrown underneath the rug. I cannot remember what movie I watched a um, long time ago, but it was a movie on schizophrenia. So that's how I was able to immediately recognize that he had the clear symptoms. Now, for those who don't know what that uh, mental illness is, here's what schizophrenia is. Here's the definition of schizophrenia, a long-term mental disorder of a type involving a breakdown in the relation between thought, emotion, and behavior, leading to faulty perception, inappropriate actions and feelings, withdrawal from reality and personal relationships into fantasy and delusion, and a sense of mental fragmentation. Okay, now we know what condition he has as far as the way he thinks, but the Joker, when he laughs, why do he laugh? the way he does we all know the jokers i kind of laugh we let's deep down into it why does he do that like i say he has a neurological disorder matter of fact here it is according to mayo clinic Pseudobulbar effect, PBA, is a condition that's characterized by episodes of sudden uncontrollable and inappropriate laughing or crying. Pseudobulbar effect typically occurs in people with certain neurological conditions or injuries, which might affect the way the brain controls emotion. Well, those are two bad combos. How did Joker mentally get like this? In the movie, it finds out that, number one, he was abandoned at birth. Number two, he was adopted by his mother. And number three, mama's boyfriend used to physically abuse him, which caused a lot of head trauma. Talk about a bad hand that you was dealt with since birth. So for those who don't suffer through those conditions, what do we do when we come across people who does? To be honest, you do the same thing you do with everybody else or what you're supposed to do with everybody else. Treat them the way you want to be treated. Because in the movie, Joker had an opportunity to kill two people. He only killed one. He spared the one guy who was nice to him and friendly to him. Keep that in mind. Now, that's not a foolproof plan, but it's going to work most of the time, majority of the time. Be nice to those. Treat those the way you want to be treated. And as far as the movie... As a whole, like I said, it needs to be nominated for movie of the year. It needs to have Joaquin Phoenix nominated for actor of the year. This was overall a great movie, and I encourage everybody of age and maturity to watch. My only reservation for this movie was Heath Ledger. 
We all know what his ledger did to get him ready for this role and how that ultimately cost him his life. I wouldn't want no actor to go to that extent just for my enjoyment. So I hope Joaquin Phoenix is mentally in a good and safe place. And that's pretty much all I have to say in regards to the Joker. Other than that, people, I am Christopher J. I will see you on the next episode. Peace out. Thank you.